Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. I'm going to pull from, uh, well, the tarot, a Celtic cross, a general, and then tea leaves in the angel numbers. So let's get going with your messages. Messages for the sign of Virgo. Next 48 hour. Give us some good messages. Please asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us as these messages are for your most high. You know what? Let's burn some sage. Let's clear the energy. Get kind of a neutral stance here. All right. Using the original tarot and um, modern witch tarot deck to clarify. So shuffle a little bit more. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. That sage is nice. And that's even nicer. Ace of Cups. Big, um, big opportunity or something here that uh, will provide many different streams of emotional happiness here as represented by those. Um, even the droplets, like it's all good emotion overflowing. Your cup overrunneth. So let's see. God, golly. Well, that had to be uh, the underlying issue because of this. Jeez. <sighs> okay, well, that's not bad. It's, it's not bad. <laughs> Jeez. Virgo. What in the world is going on? Oh my gosh. Wow. You're having an issue with somebody's mother or um, or an issue creating. I don't know. There's just a situation that's got you really heated or upset. And, uh, and it's either you or this Empress energy. There is new love <laughs> or a loving adventure. Uh, however you want to look at that. Oh. <sighs> so gosh let's get to clarifying so that we can figure it out so the past energy we have the six of pentacles which means everything was going good everything was kind of fair everything was kind of reciprocal or at least to the best that it could be right so then the knight of pentacles reverse meaning somebody that you really wanted to come through for you just did not come through for you like they did in the past and it threw everything off balance. So now there may be a situation with your pentacles there. You're like, oh gosh, I don't know how or what to do at this point. Somebody just really wasn't being very dependable or reliable and maybe even sneaky at that. There may be some kind of indulgence and in something um, that's, you know, when we have all that we could need and we get more of something that might not be that great for us. But so it may be that this person may be indulged in drugs or alcohol and tried to sneak around on that um, idea or, or around the issue or topic or was sneaking around um, just lying, cheating or stealing. You feel like you're absolutely done with any kind of third party situation or any past heartache you're just not going to repeat. Because at the heart of the matter is you feel like you've had too many nights where you're up worrying about this situation and it's not, not really necessary for you. You've put in a lot of time and investment. Uh, you do. It, these are the seeds sown. So you still do invest. I'm not so sure in this person. We're going to have to see. Look, it either resonates or it doesn't. But let's get into this. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Yep. There, so it's, whatever it is, there's an influence. There's an influence, maybe some gossip that you've heard. I don't know. There's something that was um, an influence that, that winded up affecting this person for them coming through for you. I know it has something to do with friends. It could have been a third party situation. It really could have, or it could have just been a friend hurt you, um, and, and, you know, 
a friend um, lying to you or trying to get something out of you. I don't know. Something like that. Tell me about the nine. The nine of uh, swords. And you have nine, nine kind of, you know, up here and down here. Your chariot. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're about to move forward with your, at the heart of it, you're going to get your victory no matter what. You're not going to let anything stop you from moving in the direction that you're needing to be in. This could even indicate you taking off some travel here or going to wherever you feel like it's a victory for you. Um, you're super aware of something right now. Um, like I said, I don't really like that. The Three of Cups being in the reverse. Especially if you're feeling like the Three of Swords in the reverse. Oh, goodness. Alright. Tell me about the Nine of Cups crowning this uh, topic situation. This one definitely wants to come out too. Is the source you don't have the truth that you're looking for or clarity. You feel like somebody's not telling the truth on what they indulged in. Or hung around or person they hung around with. Six of Pentacle reverse, meaning it's the opposite of what ha what this person was like, or something, you know, energies can be reversed here too. So it's just like it was a certain way and now it's off balance. Um and it feels like somebody's just not telling the truth in, in a situation about something being not very reciprocal. All right, so for Virgo, I, I want to find out more about how they're feeling with this Three of Swords. How are they feeling? Ooh, you're feeling the energy of the Three of Swords. You, you know that, the, that this is not um, a good feeling situation. Jeez. So it feels like there has been, it feels like you're encountering a loss and you've been through one. Um, and it's, this is just very um, stressful. It's very stressful. King of Cups. The sin. It again kind of um upset. Upset, angry. Somebody lied, cheated, or stole, and you're upset or angry about it. Tell me about your investment. Tell me about your investment. <laughs> You may be investing in something new here in the future. Because of all of this, you may find you have a magic wand and a new pathway to go down. New passion to follow, perhaps new person you meet, perhaps, or new job or something like that. Because something, this can even be like when there's more than two groups, you know, like at a workplace. It can be really hurtful gossip and stuff like that. I think it can be like that. So so what you're going to invest in, something new. Something new that's different than this. Yeah, because you deserve better than that. Uh, what you're hoping for, you just want everybody to get along. Or maybe you're hoping for a miracle. Or maybe you're hoping that something's, um, I don't know, working out in a different different way. Hermit and judgment. At this time, like, I really feel like you're thinking about doing something by yourself or going off alone, having some time, time to think, time to think, of, shut yourself off, you know, from the, from media, from um, your laptop, just try to get maybe in nature, maybe grounding yourself. Um, either somebody's asking for your forgiveness or that's what it's about. And your angels, they're all around you with this issue or this, yeah, this issue. That's why they're bringing something new in too, though, I must say. This isn't always necessarily a not so good thing. Okay, so 
sometimes it and you could you might resonate to this this way i'm not sure but it's worth throwing out there instead of being a angry um feeling it could just be like having trouble balancing the emotions and and it could be that there's some kind of issues or health or something that's a concern with this whoever fits the role of the empress they got to take care of that before they can actually give to others so there's something they're not giving themselves some kind of care they're not giving themselves that they've got before they can give to others and that might be about like recovery and um investing in yourself and that might be new opportunities so if that resonates then take it that way otherwise i could have it as being um like a person being angry or upset over this empress energy mother mother-in-law mother something like that star wow <sighs> trying to put some hope in this situation may even have the spotlight on you wow yeah it feels like um if there were any kind of milestones that you were trying to meet things that you didn't feel like you had any control over it's time to start taking back that control um this is finding your purpose even from a dark situation like from something that made you feel nervous um or that there was nothing you can do you know what i mean you succeed some something great with the four of wands able to celebrate that you're in participation with something that's truly transformative and amazing no matter what others say keep persisting because the five of wands could say that you could have some people disagreeing or not agreeing saying some kind of vicious things you have the good news card you just got to hang in there and keep your own focus and not let people pull you off track because that's what this card can sometimes indicate people with not the best intentions. Be careful with the, um, the groups of people like that or people that you feel are like that. Trust your intuition. Oh, goodness. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like... So with this coming out, I feel like it has to do with like a group and either people making somebody feel excluded. Yeah. And this also might mean accepting some help during a temporary hardship. Accepting help during a temporary hardship. That's what it's all about. Ace of Cups again. Three aces. If you feel like you're not belonging in some kind of group, that's that energy. And there's a hidden blessing when you come out the other side of this experience and good news all around it. It just probably doesn't feel that way at the moment. So my heart's out with you, but I can see this really improving for you. Let's get some tea leaves. Um, and let's see what they have to say for you. Yeah, okay. Egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work goldfish an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth key successful outcome to your problems the ones especially that have to do with other people not really agreeing and then look at this guys torch spiritual development and enlightenment awareness and understanding which is what you're hoping for it's what you get and yeah intense reading intense reading but um i think the outcome's gonna be really good so let's see what we have remember i have private readings if you want one of those 88 i am wealthy this says you're on the cusp of a very prosperous abundant spiritual life and um you'll find numerous opportunities for success and achievement all of which will bring financial and material abundance into your life. 88, I'm wealthy. Um, then I have 25. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. And that's what I got for your reading. 
Um, join me again for your next kind of, you know, 48 hour and get an update. Sending you light and love as always. Bye Virgos.